guys and welcome to part 4 of this mini tutorial on how to holster a weapon and uh, this video will actually not be about holstering a weapon at all uh, but it uh, initially started out with this and the user asked me if I could show how I implemented uh, the fire mechanics uh, of the weapon so inside my third person character I um, We'll find a free spot for this uh, here. And I already have an action event set up for this. So I'm going to say, okay, my current weapon is down here. And it's uh, just an uh, uh, actor, generic actor reference. So in this situation, I want to make sure to cast this to M4A1. And if you want to make this the real way, you want to uh, make a base weapon uh, type and use that instead here of uh, an actor and then uh, use interfaces to call this these okay so we want to make sure that uh, we tell the weapon to fire uh, and so it's not the person or or it is the, uh, the character but uh, so we want to drag out from here and type fire but right now it doesn't have anything so let's find the weapon blueprint here and create a custom event So drag one from this one, and one thing also you might as well get used to is to say okay, uh, make sure that you always check your variables if they are set or not. So it's valid. Want to dump in between here, and uh, oops, I did not get that. Okay, well. Um, like this, so that you're absolutely sure that your your current weapon is set. Um, so that's going to tell the weapon uh, to fire. And uh, the cool thing about this is that it's a weapon that's holding the ammo. It's it's got a, maybe a magazine or something. So uh, those variables you can put on to, on to this blueprint here. Uh, Actually, let me uh, add a little thing here while I'm at it. Uh, is there a structure called uh, weapon um, info? Let's make um, damage float, and let's make a uh, oops, and let's make another one. Call that distance uh, or range. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, you can add more if you want to. But uh, so let's add a variable in here called weapon um, stats or whatever, mm, and that's going to be of the type weapon info. Um, and let's um, compile this and expand this. So let's say the, the rifle is going to give that much damage, and it's got a range of um, two hundred meters. So when we fire the gun, um, we want to make sh uh, find out where from where we fire the gun, and to do that, I would go into the static mesh here and say I would add a socket and call this the gun exit socket, and I would drag that to the end of the uh, the rifle here, where I suppose the the bullet would come from. So. Just put that somewhere uh, close to the end of the gun. Um, and also, well, we're gonna take a look at that in a moment because maybe this is not right. Okay. Um, so when we fire the gun, we I, for this I'm just gonna use a trace line. Um, so drag out here and make a line trace by channel. I've seen other people uh, do something else, but um, I'm not really, to be honest, sure what they do. So uh, anyway, let's get the location for that uh, gun exit. So get socket location um, for the gun exit. And plug that into the start of this. And the end is going to be... Um, get the socket rotation uh, in 
for that we need the forward vector. And then uh, we also need the weapon stats, which has the, um, the, the range. So I kind of like to just split these like that. Um, so I have a, the range here. So I'm going to multiply this vector by float, the range. I'm going to take the uh, beginning of my um, the, the rifle. And I'm going to add that in here. So let's set that for duration so we can see where it's uh, shooting and if we have the right um, orientation. So right now it's shooting to the side and that's because it's uh, the forward vector is following the, the, um, the x axis. So if we look here the x axis is pointing to the side so we need to rotate this uh, 90 degrees. And when we now shoot, we still have it. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, okay, weird. Hmm. Get the forward vector. Mm, let's see. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I would have sh assumed I would get the forward vector. Um, okay, weird. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, that's what I'm missing. There we go, okay. Sorry about that. Um, so now we can shoot, but uh, we don't really do any damage at all. And we don't, we're missing a lot of components to this. Um, so, let, but for this, uh, for this uh, video, focus on the damage. So if we hit something uh, with this line trace, we're gonna make a branch here. Oops. And say, okay, if we uh, hit something, we want to drag this out hit and break that in into its components. And um, the lo location um, is where we might have hit something. So from this one, we're gonna we can do a few things. We can say, for example, um, apply damage. And then uh, we can decide to take, for example, um, radial damage. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I haven't really tried this one. I wonder if this is a new one. Um, anyway, um, so I'm going to apply a radial damage. And I'm just going to drag this one out so I avoid having lines go all over the place. Um, so the base damage is going to be whatever our weapon has and the origin is going to be the location. Oh, the origin here. Uh, it's going to be the location, yes. That's right. And uh, the damage radius, I didn't really set any on, on my... Uh, let's just set it to 10. And um, let's see. Uh, if I compile now, it's gonna say okay. Instigated by, um, well, if you want to know who caused the damage, you could pass um, self here, I believe, and uh, that means that the the damage causer is gonna be the rifle and the instigator. It's going to be the. Um, we have something called get. Get instigator controller. Um, which I believe is the, the, the person shooting. Um, 
I'm not really sure actually so let's print string and let's print this guy here and make a quick test so this is going to say player control 6 so I guess this is uh, I'm, I'm having player control 6 so that's a way to find our way back to uh, whoever we are um, if you want um, I see instead of instigator controller um, we could also say um, if we want the name of the person uh, we could just say get instigator like this um, and then you could plug that one in so it's going to print out the, the third person character okay anyway that's not what this is about um, because I want to destroy something here uh, so let's make a quick uh, destructible um, go in here and um, let's break out a box and right click that and say um, <laughs> create static mesh I guess you could just drag out a static mesh anyway but that's gonna create a static mesh box here uh, and create a struct destructible mesh and it's um, Make sure we have something like 100, which is going to look nice. And fracture it. And let's see, we want a damage threshold of, let's say, 25. And a damage spread. I don't know. I, have, I, I wouldn't touch that one. Enable impact damage. Uh, I'm not really sure what that does. Um, Accumulate damage we want to have on. That means that when we shoot it, uh, actually let, let's give it 100 because that means our rifle is giving uh, 50 points of damage and it has 100. So we need to shoot it two times. And then we could, um, I think it's support depth. Oh, let's not uh, touch that right now. But anyway, let's uh, delete this one and drag this one in instead. This is our destructible, and uh, if we now turn around and shoot it once, and shoot it again, yeah, okay, now it's, it, it broke. Uh, so now we can see that it's uh, breaking apart, and that's um, the basics of how I implement um, my shooting uh, logic here. Okay, so um, if you want to make a little, uh, let's see how much time do I spend? Thirteen minutes. I can I can use a few more minutes to, uh, to take a look at how we can make this partially destructible. Um, so let me just check something. Um, okay. Um, so if we set the support depth of one and see what that does. Whoops. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. Um, let's see, what did I miss here? Well, support maybe. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that means that when we shoot, um, yeah, only uh, part of it is going to go uh, break into pieces. Um, that means you can break pieces of it like this. Uh, 
All right. Um, so a few uh, points of uh, improvement for this. Um, one could be to experiment with um, apply point damage. And the point damage is, uh, has a hit from direction, uh, which tells us where it came from. And that should obviously be the exit of the gun. And it has a base damage as well. And uh, other than that, it looks like it's uh, pretty much the same. Um, another thing we could also, uh, we want to add to this, this is going to be, uh, for example, um, shot sound, um, oops, um, a muscle flash, which is going to be a, a particle uh, emitter. And uh, if you want, also want to make an uh, impact uh, effect when, uh, whenever you hit something, uh, it should make some kind of uh, smoke or spark or whatever. And you could also play around with uh, a decal um, to uh, leave a mark on uh, uh, whatever you hit. All right. So um, I guess that's it, uh, plenty of stuff to improve on, but I, um, that's it for this video for now. So thank you for watching and bye bye.